Hi, this is Jay Lee. Hope all is well. I just wanted to go over a few things that we ended up seeing over at our UFO sighting event on May 20th, uh, 2018 over at um, Sequoia Park over in Monterey Park. It was pretty cloudy pretty much the entire time, but I want to thank everyone who came out and hung out with us. We always have a great time together and I think we can just kind of be able to be ourselves, you know, when we're over there. So the time goes by really fast. So we ended up seeing a handful of things uh, this day, but uh, a couple of things that really kind of stood out to me I just wanted to show you. But before I begin, I just wanted to show you this picture. What type of leaf is this grasshopper trying to mimic and does it matter? So when we called for them to come to our location, we asked them to come below the clouds so that we can see them really clearly. So the one that stood out to me was this one. Whatever it was, it had a gaping hole in it. And notice the gaping hole was kind of toward the top. I'm not sure if anybody's ever chopped a gaping hole into a foil uh, balloon, but um, typically when that happens, it loses all its helium immediately and falls to the ground. I believe the same phenomenon would end up happening with a hot air balloon as it would with a weather balloon. A regular foil balloon can't even hold up a dime. What ends up happening if you start to release the helium out of it? Especially at the top. Yet this is what you see. Some sort of perfectly balanced floating object rotating from one side of the sky to the other side of the sky. Take a look at the tether. How lofty it is. I mean, it's the tether is hanging up there with the actual object. I wanted to show you a balloon looking object that does have a tether on it, but you can see that the tether hangs pretty much straight down. It's something that's like perfectly balanced. Logically, this probably shouldn't be flying. I know our brains try to justify what we see, but you gotta keep an open mind with this one. Anyway, there were some great people that came to this UFO sighting event. I want to thank John Graff for all his help and support. Thanks for the great pictures. Anyway, we're going to try to come up with another uh, UFO sighting event uh, date uh, in June. And hopefully we won't be bombarded by the June gloom here. So anyway, so we'll see you guys next time.